hello welcome to source cad and uh, in this tutorial i will tell you about quick cal calculator which is built in calculator and which is actually more than a calculator into autocad with a simple calculator you can perform calculations like multiplication subtraction addition division and also you can convert units and you can find sines cosines or logarithmic values uh, within a fraction of seconds but using this quick cal calculator of AutoCAD, you can do more than that along with making calculations. So let's go and explore the quick cal calculator of AutoCAD. From now on, I'll call it only as calculator. So to activate the calculator into AutoCAD, you need to click on this drawing area. You need to right click on this drawing area. So right click anywhere and new on this contextual menu here you will find quick calc now click here and this temporary calculator will appear now here you can see it's quick cal calculator and these are all the common icons that you know you might find that this calculator opens in this mode if it opens in this mode you just go on and expand it right now the unit conversion box is expanded i will go on and collapse it now go to number pad click on this plus icon and expand it so you can even drag it down to expand it now here you can see the familiar number pads and all the tools which you find on any common cal calculator so if you want to make any calculations click on the buttons here multiplied by 69 and equals to this so this is your result so you can even click on this or you can use number pad also so on your keyboard just go on and press and you'll find the results so you can even use your keyboard or you can use this screen and press the buttons here now if you want a more advanced calculator go on and expand this scientific tab and now you can see all the scientific buttons here now for example if you want to measure the sine or the cosine of any angle now enter that angle and press sign and now here we have the sign of this angle and press enter as soon as you will do this you will see the result here the sign of 30 degrees is 0 0.5 so in this way you can measure different values now let's go and explore unit conversions so now expand this unit conversions tab and now here you will find different values for unit conversions you can even convert units like length area volume and angles from one unit to another using this unit conversion now let's go and explore these tool using length so I'll select length I want to convert length and I want to convert length which is in inches so select inches and I want to convert inches into meters or you can even select centimeter just go on and select from here from this list so now I want to convert inches into centimeters now enter the value here here I want to convert 5 inches and I want to see the result what 5 inches would be in centimeters so now press enter and here you will see the result 12.7 so 5 inches is equal to 12.7 centimeters and here we have the result so you can even go on and explore other tools like angle now in angles you can have uh, all these units so I'll select radians and I'll convert it to degrees so now let's go and select 18 18 radians now I just want to convert 18 radians into degrees so 18 press enter and here we have the result 1031 degrees if we'll convert two radians so this will give a result of 114 degrees so this is how you can convert different angular units into radians or vice versa now after looking at all these values I am not going to explore variables in this tutorial I'll go on on these small icons that you find on the top of your calculator now I'll use all these icons to measure some of the values on this screen so now let's go and look at the first icon here now suppose I'll make a normal calculation here 45 
divided by 6 equals this. Now here we have a full list, a history of whatever we have made up to this point of time and here we have some digits here also. Now you want to just clear this data. Go on, click on this clear and all the data in this box will be cleared. If you want to clear this history, click on the clear history and it will be cleared. Now whatever you have your value here, for example, I have got 45 as a result of any calculation and I want to copy this value to the command line. Just click on this icon. So now it will copy this value from here and paste it to the command line. Click on the paste value to command line and there you have the value of 45 on the command line as well. So now in the midst of any command, you can use this to paste your value into command line as well. Now let's go and look at all these icons. These are the inquiry tools that you have learned about and I have a, a video on inquiry tools also. So you can click on the screen right now and go to the inquiry tools where you can see all these tutorials and you can use these icons from here also or you can measure the values from this quick cal calculator also. So now let's go and see what these values are. Here the first icon is get coordinates. So click on this icon. The calculator disappears temporarily and now click on the point. As soon as you click on a point, its three coordinates X, Y and Z appears here. Now to make a check whether this value is correct, I will go and cross check using this inquiry tool also. So here you have the ID point. Go to ID point, click on this point and here we have the ID point. So minus 2.380, 13, 0 and now you can cross check that both the values are same. So you can either use these inquiry tools or you can use this quick cal calculator also to measure any coordinate. Now let's select this distance between two points. Now once you select distance between two points, you can measure distance between two points obviously. For that you need to click on two points. So now I'm using this and this point. And the distance between these two points is 17.0 388447. If you want to cross check this, you can use Maser tool as well. So go to Maser, click on this point and then click on this point. And here we have the result. So now here we have the distance 17.03, 17.03 and the delta value. So we are not interested in this delta value right now. We are interested only in this distance. So now collapse it a little. Okay. Now, the next icon is for angle. If you want to measure the angle of any line with respect to positive side of x axis, you can use this tool. Now go on and click on this tool and click on the first point. The first point will be the point where angle will be measured and click on the second point. And now here we have the angle of 18 degrees. So what this 18 degrees is actually? So I'll tell you what this 18 degrees is draw a straight line which is parallel to x axis and now let's go and draw an angle and this angle is 18 degree so 18.11 since we have a precision of 0 here so only the decimal points points which are before decimal is represented here so this angle is approximately 18 degrees and the exact value for this angle is 18.11 degrees in this way, you can measure angle for any of the lines on this screen. Now, let's go and see this icon for intersection of two lines. Now, if you want to know the point of intersection of two lines, which is here in this example. Now, if you want to know the intersection of these two lines, that is this point, click on this intersection. And now, click on the two points of this line. So now, first point and second point. And now, go to this point and this point. And now here we have the coordinate of this intersection point, which is 17.38, 7.50 and 0. You can also verify this result using utilities ID point. Click on this point and here we have the result 17.38, 7.50 and 0. So in this way, you can calculate many different values. Now, this is not all about calculator. You even have something more to this. Now, suppose you want to measure where the centroid of this triangle is or you want to find out the center point of this line you can find it using 
this uh, quick calc also and even if you can find the point of tangency between these two objects so now let's go and explore these three options first so first I'll find center point for this line so to find center point of this line you need to enter a syntax a proper syntax you need to follow so, so start your bracket and enter C U R plus C U R close your bracket forward slash and divide it by 2 and press enter as soon as you will do this you will be prompted to select two points now go on and select the points the first point and the second point and now here we have the midpoint which is in between these two points so here we have the coordinates of midpoints you want to go and chill uh, if you want to go and check these points go to ID point and click on this midpoint and here you can see that the coordinates are 5.71 15.90 and 0 so it's exactly same now in this case also if you want to measure the centroid of this triangle which is this point the centroid is actually the intersection of three lines so that if a line is drawn from one of the vertex to the other midpoint opposite midpoint from this vertex to opposite midpoint the point of intersection will be the centroid so now if you want to measure the centroid of this triangle you need to click on these three vertices so now go on and enter the same value here in this case also so I will enter C U R C U R plus C U R plus C U R thrice close the bracket forward slash divided by 3 and press enter and now you need to select three points so select this point select this point and select this point as well and press enter as soon as you will do this you will find that here we have the centroid go on make a, ch make a check using ID point click on this point and you can see that we have the result here 17.38 7.50 and 0 in the similar way you can use this calculator to measure the point of tangency of this circle and this line now to measure the tangency the point of tangency between this circle and this line you can use another syntax that is T A N for tangent and press enter as soon as you will do this you will see that the cursor changes to pick box now go on and click on the circle as soon as you will click on this circle you will see the three points you will see the coordinate of the points which corresponds to this tangency point now go on and make a check click on this point the point of tangency and here we have the coordinates so it's exactly same again you can even measure the radius of this also for that we have a different syntax for R A D use this R A D to measure the radius of this circle which is 3.24 and there are many other variables that you can use so this was all in quick cal calculator I hope uh, you were benefited with these videos and if you like them if you want more from me go on and hit the subscribe button and once again thanks for watching